Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. This is Ashley. If you're new here, we're going to be planning um, May the 8th through the 14th. I'm a little bit behind in my memory planner, but this was Mother's Day and I've been waiting to use this gorgeous kit from Leonard Designs and the foil pack as well. And I got the foil in this like purpley pink color. I can't remember all of her foil colors because she has like a ton of options. Um, her prices have gone up quite a bit, so I haven't ordered from her in a while. Um, they're just, they're, they're, they're getting on up there, but you do get a lot of stickers and it is really beautifully done. So may not be very pricey for you. It's just a little bit pricey for me. So I just haven't done a sticker purchase in a long while. We've been trying to buy other things and now We've found out we have another baby on the way, and so it just has not been a priority. But this is called Beautiful Tales. I'm pretty sure this is still available in her shop, and it's the foil back 016 that goes along with it. So freaking pretty, and I really love it. Like, I love it. The Secret Garden, like what? And it's green, which is my absolute favorite color. It's predominantly green. And this like goldenrod color, if you know Crayola crayons, you know that that's called goldenrod. And so those are two of my favorite colors. My favorite colors are like green and like a mustardy goldenrod color. So it's perfect. And I think that adding that touch of pink in there is just really, really nicely done. So look, I mean, look at all of these full box options we have. They're insane. If you can hear my kids running around like rhinoceroses upstairs, that's because they're insane. And yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's one of those days. Um, they, Jaren has been over. He, we went and picked him up for church on Wednesday and he was like, could I just stay with you guys? And I was like, um, of course. And so he asked his mom and his mom said that he could stay until Sunday. And so Sunday it is. And today is Friday. So normally this would be the day that we go pick him up this evening, but we've had him since Wednesday and the kids are always wild when he comes. I think it's just the novelty of like Jaren being over when it's out of their routine he's usually not here all the time so he is they get all excited they're so wild and I've said this before plus Jaren has like a different personality he's very wide open like all the time he wakes up being loud he goes to sleep being loud like he's always loud <laughs> I'm like, Jaren, you're at like an eight and I need you to be at like a three, you know, most like the biggest I need you to be is like a, a four, you know, I, I need you to tone it down. Also, if you can hear that music in the background, I'm really sorry. It's bluey. Um, I had that on for them in the living room earlier and I haven't turned it off and yeah, it's bluey in the living room and it's just traveling into my office. So I need to get up and close the door and I will in a second, but anyways, so, um, what do I have to tell you? Lots of things. So yes, if you do not follow my other channel, it is called House of Johnson's. Um, yes, that is a play on words. Ha ha. And you know, that's just the kind of, kind of boy mom that I am. <laughs> And, um, I don't know though, if we, if we have a girl, I might have to change the name of the channel because it won't be that, I mean, it'll still be a house full of Johnsons in one way, but we're, we're trying to even the playing field. Do you know what I mean? So we'll see if it is a girl or not. Um, Jaren's mom is actually pregnant as well, which is funny. And she is having a girl, so she already has a girl. So he has a girl sibling over there at his mom's house, and now he's getting another. So we'll see how many sisters he can get. I've been so sick, a couple of people have commented that they wonder if I'm having twins because I have been so insanely sick it's been it has been ridiculous like I'm not even gonna lie I've never been this sick with any pregnancy but I 
I'm not a throw up person, so this may be TMI for some of you, but I, I'm not a throw up person, so I don't actually get sick. I just feel so miserably nauseated that I can't, I can hardly function. Like I feel so green <laughs> and although green is my favorite color it's not my favorite way to feel and it really sucks and so I'm like oh okay I'm gonna be a good girl girl and remember that I want to use my date covers for from the foil pack because I seem to always forget that okay so what was this date this was the 14th right so it was the 8th I can count I promise I just wanted double check myself in every way possible because I tend to mess things up <laughs> every chance I get, right? <sighs> I am behind on filming. I am behind on lots of things, it seems, because I just, I was telling Joshua yesterday, like, I'm not a person that can sit still, okay? I'm not a person that can just sit on the couch. I'm not. I don't care what's wrong with me. I'm not. <laughs> and so when I have to or, or just can't, like feel like I just can't do anything else, it's miserable for me because I'm always thinking about what I could be doing or like getting an itch to create something or plan or clean because I know the house is a mess and I know that it's just going to put me behind for the next day or the next day and it's like, oh my gosh, what could I be doing right now? And then I, like, go to try to do it anyway, and I'm like, oh, I can't. Like, I have to sit back down. And so yesterday I laid around a lot, and I would get up and clean a little bit, get up and fix them some lunch, get up and do this, and then I would just be like, oh, I feel terrible. And so I would have to lay back down. And Josh was like, Ashley, just lay down. Like, stop right now. Give the phone to the other older boys. Tell them to help you out and just stop and I was like I I just I can't like I don't like it I hate that and he was like I don't care what you hate just stop but I just I can't stand being still like I'm the kind of person that even if I'm watching a movie I want to do something with my hands and Josh was like you're not even paying attention to the movie and I'm like yes I am this is me paying attention like I can't just sit and stare at a screen like I have to be moving my hands doing something like I just that's just my personality like blame it on the ADHD like whatever you want to do but I just cannot like just sit still and focus on nothing I, I have to be doing something at the same time and so Unless I'm, like, dog tired or unless I'm, like, cuddling with him or whatever, it's hard for me to not have something in my hands while I'm watching something or something like that. Like, that's how I enjoy the show or the movie or whatever. And he hates that. And I'm like, what does it matter to you? You're sitting next to me. You're not, it's not like you're touching me or sitting right up next to me anyway. You're like on the other side of the bed. Like he tends to like sit on the wrong side, like on, at the foot of the bed laying upward, but not at the head of the bed, if that makes sense, when he's watching TV. And I'm like, you're not even right next to me anyway. So what does this matter to you? I don't understand. But it does somehow. And I think it's funny because my dad does the same thing with my mom. My mom will be like scrolling through Facebook while they're watching TV or she's a Facebook scroller. Or she'll be like um, playing a game or something. And he's like, you're not even watching this with me. You're not even spending time with me. And she's like, spending time with you? We're literally silent <laughs> watching TV. Like, why? how is that spending quality time? But to them, it is. Somehow, it is quality time. And if you're not staring at the screen right along with them, you are not doing quality time. It's hilarious to me. Like, I don't get it. Okay, I do want that bookmark. And there's a gnat in here. And I'm going to scream. I feel like flies and mosquitoes and gnats this year already are just insane. It is so annoying. I am not a fan. And I want them to go away. I totally should be doing more things upside down, but do you think I've done anything upside down? No. I guess I just don't think about it that much. Two purses together. I want to put this tea set somewhere where it's actually like 
shown as a tea set because it's so freaking pretty. This deco is really cute. But anyways, so I'm just the kind of person that does not be still very well. I don't do stillness. And I've had to a little bit because of this morning sickness and it has not been fun for me. I have not been enjoying it at all. Okay, these are the only scissors handy. They're not the best scissors for this task, but they will get the job done and it'll be okay. So I have been just barely making it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. We've just, we've been getting into a homeschool routine and into a life routine and we've been doing pretty well. Um, like I said, the morning sickness has been pretty rough. So uh, there's been a couple of days this week where we have not really followed through, um, with our schedule the way that I would like to. And plus Jaren being here makes things a little bit tricky because I always feel guilty, especially at the beginning of his summer break to be like, okay, we're doing homeschool. And then he's like left with nobody. <laughs> I always feel kind of bad because he's over here and he's just kind of prisoner while we're doing all the things but that's okay sometimes I rope him in and he starts doing lessons too and he's like man I wish I was homeschooled and I'm like me too buddy me too but that is not doable right now so that's okay all right that's really cute I like that so far okay let's do some glitter headers and then start laying stuff down I usually do this the opposite because I don't like it to be matchy-matchy, but we're just going to go with it today because I'm putting foil over it anyway, so it's going to be fine. My All of the boys have a lock-in today, tonight, and it's really cute. Um, it's for their rangers. Um, yeah, and... They're really excited for it. I doubt they'll stay up the whole night, but who knows? Um, so we'll see. We will see. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Um... Uh, let's see. I should have just kept on with the glitter headers because I'm going to have to put them down anyway. I know I'm going to put this here. And at the bottom. I think we'll do it a little different this time. That's always how I do it, but I think I'm going to do it a little bit different. So then I want to put this one here as well and the bottom. And this one here. And here. So this is very cute. They don't I don't trust my kids with anyone <laughs> and so they don't get to go to like sleepovers and their sleepover is like my sister's house and so they don't get to go to things like that so let's see what full boxes I have I know I have that really pretty double box I have two double boxes hmm. okay so I think I'm gonna do them here and here Okay, because I want to use them. And it, we're going to figure out how to use at least most of the boxes. Maybe even all of them. I don't know. We're going to see. Okay, so I want to remember that's where I want to put those. And then this here. There's airplanes that ride, ride, fly over my house because we live right next to the airport. And I mean right next to the airport. We also live very close to Redstone Arsenal. If you are familiar with Huntsville, Alabama or any part 
anything to do with Huntsville, then you know, like, it's, oh, crap, it's, um, the Rocket City is what they call it, um, and it is home to the Redstone Arsenal, which is a military base, and it is, um, they do, like, <laughs> I don't know, like explosions, like they do testing and it's like boom and it like goes off right by my house and it shakes the whole house and so we get those sometimes too and it's like what are you doing in there? <laughs> do I even want to know what you're doing? Probably not, but okay. And um, yeah, so we get those routinely as well so it can be interesting living here you know you think Alabama is just this good old country which it is it totally is let's be honest good old country state but there's interesting things that happen here so interesting things around these parts and I love my state I really do I love the homeschool laws here. I love, it's getting a little bit crowded around here for my liking. I want to live like in the woods in the middle of nowhere and have like a homestead with the big old farm and all the things. That's really my dream, but um, you know, it's okay for now. I, I would much rather live in the middle of nowhere. I live in a suburb, so there's like houses right next to me. Like right now I'm looking in my neighbor's window because he doesn't have blinds and it's very weird. You can see all in his house and he just doesn't care. He's a bachelor and he, and in, I can't tell if it's like his office right across from my office or if it's his bedroom because I know he works in there and it's a huge house. He has like, a, it's not quite as big as ours, but it is a fairly large house, especially for one person. So I'm sure he has like a separate office or whatever, but he does work from home sometimes. So I see him in there is so awkward because I like to leave my blinds like kind of open a little bit, not like all the way, but a little bit because I like the sunshine to come in. And so I know that like he probably can see me and I can totally see him because he has nothing and it's very weird. I just want to live in the woods, you know, <laughs> where I can open my windows and I can shove open the blinds all the way and I don't have to worry about people staring at me. Like the front blinds, when I used to have my office in the front room, I would open the blinds and it's like onto my front porch and there would be like people walking their dogs and walking on the sidewalk all the time and they'd be staring at me in the office and I would just be like, this is awful. I just, I don't like being around people to be honest with you. <laughs> like, I would much rather be like a hermit and secluded and a long driveway away from the road in the middle of the woods and just be happy like Snow White with nature. Like I just, that's, that's me. That's my preference, but that's just not where we're at right now. We're, we can't afford to buy a big old piece of land and do what we want to do on it just yet. So maybe in a couple of years we will be able to do that. So that's, that's, that's my hope, right? Like that's my hope. I hope is that we'll be able to just move in the middle of nowhere soon. I think I'm going to switch these and put this one at the bottom and put this one at the top. Yeah, the kids are going wild today. I don't really, I don't know. They just are. But you know what? They're going to all be, all three of the older boys will be spending the night at the church tonight. And, um... Yeah, they can have at it. They're very excited because like I said, they don't, they can spend the night with my sister or my mother. That's it. Nobody else. Nope. No, thank you. I don't know you well enough. I will never know you well enough. You could be my best friend and I still don't know you well enough. You don't know what happens in people's houses behind closed doors in my opinion and I just don't do that that's just not a thing I do so I just don't trust people with my kiddos like <laughs> I just don't I'm not very close to my brothers so they don't spend the night at my brother's house I wouldn't mind if they did but they don't because we're just not that close but nobody else <laughs> if it's not my immediate family it's just not happening 
So, okay, let's work on these full boxes now. Let's show you. I want to put this one here, right? I know this is kind of like starting in a very strange spot, but I want to make sure I do these double boxes where I want them first. So I'm going to do this here. I've also been having pretty gnarly migraines this pregnancy, and I do tend to have those in the first trimester. I think um, I think Killian's was probably the one I had the least migraines with, and I don't think Alark's was that bad, I don't think. I'm trying to think. But I did have them a good bit with Jensen and with Tristan, I know. And I think I could have had them with a lard too. I don't really remember that much. But I do remember Tristan because that's how I found out I was pregnant. Is because I just kept having all of these headaches. And it was so bad. And my mom was like, are you pregnant? And I was like, ugh, I don't think so. And then I was like, oh, holy crap. I'm like two weeks late for my period. So I suppose I am pregnant. Okay, well. Um... What do I want here? I think, I think I might do this one here. And then maybe, because this one's very similar, so we'll see if that one goes in the sidebar. And we'll do it that way. Because I'm running out of room. And I have like a bunch. I definitely want to use the girl because she reminds me of myself. She has brown wavy hair and she has a book in her hand, which has been me most of my life. I don't read very much anymore, unfortunately, because I have a billion children and I just don't have time to read as much as I would like. But yeah, I would love to read that much all the time. When I was younger, I used to have a book in my hand everywhere I went. Like literally I would walk while I read or read while I walk, whichever way you want to put it. And yeah, I was that person. I was that nerd. I just read all the time. And my mom would get so mad at me because I would like not be paying attention to my surroundings at all. And crazy things would ensue with my twin brother and sister. And she would be like, what the heck, Ashley, are you not paying attention at all? And I'd be like, no, not really. I was reading my book. And I would literally just read all the time. Like, my grandmother used to take us to the toy store every time she picked us up. And, like, we would go to the mall. And the mall had this huge toy store. And she'd be like, okay, you can get one thing. And my brother and sister would be like, yay. And I'd be like, um, could, could could we please go to the bookstore? And she'd be like, yes, you can go to the bookstore. <laughs> I would not want the toys. I just wanted books, always books, all the time. And she would buy them for me, and I loved them. I collected all the C.S. Lewis books. I collected um, all of the Little House on the Prairie like, not just the Laura Ingalls Wilder ones, but the her mom, like, the series they did for her mom. The Caroline years and the Martha years, and there's more of them, too. I, I collected all of those books. I still have almost all of them. I've lost a few, but and I need to replace them. But all of those books, um, I collected Nancy Drew books. I loved Nancy Drew um, I collected, what else did I collect? I collected like all of the classics, um, Moby Dick. I read Moby Dick in the third grade and not the like children's version, like the big, huge version. I, I read Moby Dick in the third grade. I just loved to read and I wish that I could instill that in my kiddos because they're just not there yet. And I... Tristan's 10 already, and so I feel like he should totally be into books like his mom was. Because <laughs> he has my personality. And and Joshua loved to read, too. So it's not just me. Like, Joshua loved to read. 
And so I feel like my kiddos should love to read too. And Killian's seven, and so he just turned seven. So he's starting to like to read. And I'm hoping that he's my reader because he's starting to like it. And he is very good at it. Like, he puts, like, the enunciation in all of it. And he, like, he is very good at, like, creating a story, you know? And so I'm hoping that he loves to read like his mama because I just am going to be so sad if I don't have a reader in the family. Now, Alaric might be my reader too because he has a personality very similar to mine as well and he is a very artsy kind of mind and he um, loves for stories to be read to him. And so I'm hoping that, you know, he'll be an avid reader too so we'll see he's only four so we'll see he's not there yet but we'll see one two three four five six one two three four five six yeah i've got plenty going on here so pretty so very pretty foil like this makes my heart happy like it is so gorgeous Okay, what do I want to do? I'm thinking I do want to do this. And maybe this one. So pretty. Okay. Then this one. I probably should have done both of those on here, huh? Mess that up a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, I really wish I could take that off, but I know I can't. I should have done that one on here and not used it there, but I really wasn't paying attention, to be honest with you. So it's okay. Um, we'll do... What will we do? We'll do this one, I guess. And maybe this one too. So we'll have all four sides and then it'll be a little more foily. And then I think just to be even more extra, I know it's a lot of layering and I know I did that crooked so don't judge me, but I think I'm gonna put this on the bottom here like this. Yep, that's pretty, okay. There's that, and then Jensen's trying to escape into here or somewhere. He's trying to do something and make a big mess. Jaren just caught him. I think he's trying to keep him quiet because he knows that I'm filming, but keeping that kid quiet is a full-time job that I'm afraid no one can accomplish, you know? Is just the way he is so yep there's that um okay so we have these going on I'm sure you can hear him crazy as a loon do I even have enough to be doing all this I probably shouldn't have done that I don't think I do because I shouldn't have put these here. I should have put the other ones, but that's okay. If I have to put the other ones on these, then it'll be all right. I might have enough. I don't, I can't tell. Oh, I don't think so, though. Oh, I think I do. Yikes. All right, so one... Yes, I have enough. Okay. Okay. So, anyways, I don't even remember what I was saying. I feel like I'm being so rambly, which is another way that I get when I'm pregnant. I'm like so even more scatterbrained, if that's even possible for me. Um, 
even more scatterbrained than usual. Okay, so now we're gonna go with the beginning, except for, or the day by day, except for I'm gonna start at the opposite end of the week. Okay, we're gonna start backwards. So this was Mother's Day. Um, let's use a green because that's my favorite color. And for Mother's Day, I had to watch nursery. So nobody else wanted to do it. People were kind of rude about it. And so they're trying to put him to bed early. Could I just lay him down for his nap? No. <laughs> Not time for his nap. That's why I haven't laid him down. I'm trying to get rid of him. <laughs> He's being a crazy person. It's not even quite lunchtime, guys. Lunchtime, then a nap. Oh, they're funny. He's, they're funny. Okay. All right. Then, so I did do nursery. And then we just, like, chilled. We went to Phil Sandoval's because that is my absolute favorite. I love Phil Sandoval's, which I don't know if I can stand Phil Sandoval's right now. But I do love Phil Sandoval's. So I didn't need a taco. I ate nachos because that's my favorite. But I am going to put that down because I love it. Phil Sandoval's. Yum. Okay. Jaja had been promising me Phil Sandoval's for a long, long time. And so I finally got to go there. And now Jensen's crying. And I do not know why. But I'm going to have to figure that out because it's no good. He's probably not wanting to go play with his brothers. He's wanting to be crazy and be in here with me. And they're also jumping around upstairs like they're going to tear the place down. So there's that. Where is my... I'm probably going to have to go fix him. Get him settled down because he's crying for me in there. Trying to keep him up there to play and he's not in the mood. He's like, um, I'm thinking no... Okay. Okay. Let me just find this sticker that I'm looking for. And then I will go take care of him and come back after lunch. Um, I know it's in here. And I think it's before this. But for whatever reason, I can't see it. They're so loud upstairs. Like, why are you being so insanely loud? I thought it was here, so I might have used them all, but I thought I had a few left. I didn't think I used all of them. Don't really understand. Uh, yeah, I don't see any of them. I'll have to look and see if I have some more of those stickers, because those are my favorite. I'll use this because I was holding babies and loving on them in the nursery. So there's that. And um, then they are so loud. Why are they so loud? This was church. Okay, and um, Mother's Day. And church. So loud. Okay. Nursery. I have to keep nursery tomorrow too. Okay. And then on Saturday, we just hung out. And I'm pretty sure Joshua had to work on Saturday. And then we just kind of spent some family time together. And so there's that. And then on Friday, Friday night, we just did, Friday we just did our regular routine. And then um, Friday night we went to um, Cracker Barrel for my mom's Mother's Day. Um, I'm just going to put... I'll put, what do I want to put here? 
I'll put like a vacuum maybe because it's just like the daily routine. Um, and then in the we went to Cracker Barrel and it was okay. It wasn't that great. For our family, it has to pretty much be spectacular to be worth the money that we pay because we pay we have so many kids and so many people that it takes it takes a lot to really be good. You know what I mean? And like for us to feel like it was worth the money that we just paid for it. So it takes like a lot. <laughs> and it just wasn't that great. But it was okay. It wasn't that bad. Um, yeah. It, it wasn't bad. So we did have dinner there at Cracker Barrel for my mom. And... And then Saturday, we just kind of chilled out, did a movie night in the evening with some snacky food, which is always the best. I can't remember what movie we watched, though. I think we watched Dr. Doolittle. I'll put that because I think that was right. And then this was just cleaning, just cleaning. Well, actually it was just relaxing because Joshua was off. So it was just relaxing day and we just chilled out. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go make lunch and then come back. Okay. Whew. Let me see if I can get this finished now that we've gotten lunch and all of the things out of the way. So, Thursday was just a normal day. Um, I'm trying to think. So this is this is eight. This is Seven, and this is six. Okay, so this is the week before I found out I was pregnant. I think, no, this is the week I found out I was pregnant. So I think I found out I was pregnant this day. No, it was Wednesday. Okay, so this day was just normal laundry, cleaning, all the things. Let's see. use plain one for once I was doing good I was on my like making dinners kick and I was doing really good at it <laughs> um I'm going to put work because I was trying to work on these journals that I was doing. Um, I was trying to get them done. And I wasn't feeling that well, but I didn't know why. And it was really just because I was pregnant. I was just starting to feel a little bit, not morning sick, I wouldn't say, but just a little bit strange. And so, yeah. And then... This is when I found out that I was pregnant. And it's starting to rain, so the boys need to come inside. That means they're going to be inside the whole entirety of Jensen's nap, which is not fun. Okay, I found out I was pregnant, so what do I want to put for that? Um, let's see, I have some pregnancy stickers in here, and I know I have some cuties, so let's see. I'm going to put a rainbow, because this is our rainbow baby, and okay, 
And then this is when we were doing so well. And we also had church this night and church dinner. So I'll put church dinner and then I'll put church with this one. Oh, I like these. These are really cute. There's so many box options. So let's use a pink. And I need a fork and spoon, and I just saw the cutie ones that I wanted. And do you think I know where I put those? Nope. No, I do not. So where are you, friends? Here they are. You're gonna smell like wet dogs and they come back inside. Shoo. Nobody wants that. Let's see, where is my pen? Pen, pen, pen. Where are you, pen? It's like gone. Like, what's happening? I thought I just saw it and now I don't know where it went. One of those days where everything just disappears. I would have done that. I really wanted that pin. Okay. Um. Found that we are pregnant. Okay. And then this is church dinner. And this is church. Okay. And then this is just working on the journal. And, okay. So I'm gonna put another work. And hmm, I'll just put this and then I'll put planning because I did some filming. I was doing so well at keeping my house so clean. Just doing so well. Trying to get laundry done and cleaning done and all of those things. Um, I was doing really well, I must say. So, just going to put this one since it's going to be on the... Um, Oil. We'll put it here like this. And then I'm going to put, just put house, the house, because I'm keeping it clean. Same thing with all of this. So I have, um, so I have to get some groceries on this day. So let's put this here. And then then we'll do laundry. I'm pretty sure I have a like laundry skirt. No, I do. It's just a matter of where it is. When I organized this, I feel like I had like a streamlined thing in my mind of what um, went where. And for some reason, I just don't know what I was thinking anymore. <laughs> like, I don't 
feel that way anymore. I don't feel like any of it makes any sense. So I don't know. Um, where is my laundry sticker? Yard work. Here's one. I'll use this one. I kind of wish it was smaller than this, but it's okay. I'll do this one. It's fine. And then this is like, I love to start out the week with my for sure morning routine because that's when I do my um, Bible study and my coffee and I just kind of get my crap together before um, I start the day and before kiddos get up. And then I'm going to put also this, where are you? Because I just saw you. Like I was just using the things right beside you and now I don't see it. So I guess I'll just put clean again. And I'll put it, oh my stomach hurts and it has just been hurting all day. Don't feel good. Okay. Let's put another clean and then I'll just do this little guy and this little guy. That looks good to me. So here it is, the finished product. Finally, here we are. I still have like a buttload of leftovers, so I can totally put these in my reusable sticker book and use them because there's like a lot. I even have some of these icons that I didn't use as well. So tons of stuff still left to use. So thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.